Good afternoon. Uh, how are y'all doing? I hope all is well. Hope you have been having an amazing week. I just had to hop on here really quickly. One of my clients, my real estate clients, she just blessed me so much. So we just closed on her house. It was a five bedroom, uh, three car garage, custom built new construction home it took us about a year or so so we just closed on it and when she was uh telling me what was happening during the time that we were under contract which i didn't know the time that we were building the house she was telling me how she had was really believing god because there was a situation and something that was going on to where you know her husband had to pass this this specific test if he didn't pass this test then they would no longer be stationed here. Um, and so that means that they would no longer be able to get the house. And so they will be buying and building this house for no apparent reason at all because they wouldn't be able to, to, to live in it, to afford it. They would have to go, you know, they would have to sell the house back or whatever the case may be. And so he failed the test one time, you know, he got back up, tried it again. He failed the test the second time, okay? He only had one more time to take the test. And um, so, that last time, I didn't even know what was going on. I'm just steady, making sure the house is getting built. Everything is going on. Everything is everything. Finally, the day before walk, the walkthrough, she, she let me know how uh, he had passed the test and all was well. And so something happened to where the appraisal came in a little bit, oh Jesus Christ. The appraisal came in a little bit um, higher than what we expected, right? And so, I mean, lower than what we expected. And so the appraisal came in lower than what we expected, which caused us to have to bring more money to closing, which was completely left field. So I'm calling the builder, I'm calling the listing agent on the builder side. I'm like, hey, listen, I don't know what's going on, but they're saying that, you know, all my clients gonna have to bring money to closing. She was like, you know what, well, can you ask them if they have an extra five or $6,000? Who has an extra five or six thousand dollars just laying around a week before closing? That's something that you have to plan and prepare for. And so I immediately, you know, was just like, Lord, okay, I, I, I just need you. You, this got to be your bill, God, because we don't have it. She's pregnant; they about to have a baby. We already figured out the cost that we need to close, and this was completely left field. They're not prepared for this price, so we immediately went into prayer. That Monday before closing, we were informed that they did not have to bring five thousand dollars to closing that they were getting a refund of $5,000. On top of that, the appraisal was like $850 and appraisals are never that high. So I was irritated about the appraisal, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna just let it go because we got a $5,000 refund at closing. Y'all tell me why my client just texted me a screenshot. The appraiser just came to the house with a check for the complete and full balance of the appraisal cost. Let me tell you if you don't know about real estate. When, about real estate, the appraisal is the buyers, meaning you have to pay for your own appraisal. Why the lender ended up paying for the appraisal for my client, so not only was the appraisal paid in full, but we got a $5,000 refund, which is what we were gonna have to bring to closing. I say all that to say that God has the bill. I don't know who this is for. I don't know what you're believing God for, but I'm telling you, if you just faith walk this thing out, if you just walk by faith and not by sight, God says the bill is mine. I have the bill. I will take care of the bill. I will take care of the bill. I will make sure that I take care of the bill, whatever that bill is. If it's a medical bill, if it's a car bill, if it's a house bill, if you if you like me and you throw in a women's conference, if it's that bill, God says, I will take care of the bill. If you just walk this thing out by faith, if you just walk this thing out by faith, I will take care of the bill. Oh my Lord, when she texted me that screenshot, I had to press pause in the car and go into a shout because I was like, oh my God, a lot of the times God sends us places or God tells us to do something or things resonate in our spirit. We go do it. We go after it. And it's like, you know, well, Lord, oh my God, it seems like all hell is breaking loose. But God is like, I got the bill. Don't worry about it. I got the bill. Don't worry. I'm going to take care of it. God, I'm going to take care of it. Wherever I got, I will provide. I am not a God that I should lie. My word will never return unto me void. If you just be obedient to my instructions, if you just follow what I am doing, I will take care of the rest. I'll take care of the bill. I will make sure, I will make sure that you will not fail. 
I will make sure that it's covered. I will make sure that it's paid for. I will make sure that you come out. Oh, God, that you come out with a thousand fold. I will turn. I will make sure of it. If I be God, Alpha and Omega, Elohim and El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh. Oh, God, Jehovah Nisi. Oh, God, Jehovah Rapha. God said, I will make sure. I am Alpha and I am Omega. I got it. I will take care of the bill. I got the bill. Don't worry. Go to sleep. Stop worrying. Stop calling everybody. Stop throwing a pity party. Stop being around town looking like you're broke, busted, and disgusted. God said, I got the bill. Don't worry about it. I got the bill. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to make sure you get the house. I got the bill. I'm going to make sure you get the car. I got the bill. I'm going to make sure that your women's conference is sold out and that everything that you had to pay for, all the invoices are paid for. I got the bill. I got the bill. I got the bill, period. I have the bill. And so I don't know who that is for, but God bless you and take heed to this word. Let it resonate within your spirit and just walk by faith.